Alright guys, so we're back, um, yeah, well, anyway, so, uh, before I show you how, um, you know, just me launching the server, I'm going to, uh, just show you a quick app on the iPhone, in which, uh, you don't need all this server software, it, it'll all be, uh, the server will automatically be run within your iPhone, however, it does not allow you for ops or plugins or all that really cool stuff, and, frankly, I don't like it as good, but it's a really quick solution. Alright, so anyways, um, it's called Multiplayer for Minecraft PE. Alright, so you can just get, uh, so this would be the menu. Host server, join server. Now, keep in mind, if you're hosting, whether you're hosting or joining a server, um, you will have to have Minecraft PE open at the time. Preferably not loaded on a world, but on the uh, uh, world load menu or whatever. Um, so yeah, you can do it via Bluetooth, talk, uh, join a Pokemon server, or join one of their servers that someone runs within their iPhone. Unfortunately, I can't show you because I'm recording with the iPhone that has the app, and I, don't, I really don't feel like downloading it to here. Um, anyway, so you know, you can create a server, whether it's in creative or, uh, creative or survival, public or private, you can invite people, really cool thing. Um, it only wor I think it only works for very specific, um, um, or I just don't think it'll work for the old, um, I, or, you know, the old, uh, Apple devices, like the iPod 4G and whatnot, because they are kind of old and, you know, the RAM isn't very high, because I've seen some nasty reviews about it if, the, if you have an iPod 4, however, for all the new iPhone 5s and iPod 5s and whatnot, it works amazing. So yeah, there's that. Let's actually let's actually get back to the point of this and uh, start up the server. All right. Oops, so let's actually back out of that. So now we can. And now we're gonna want to. Now because uh, this is, it's only gonna show that little blue thing because I'm on the same uh, network as <clears throat> as the. Uh, computer that's running the server, but for most of you, you know, you're gonna want to do this. So type in what you and if you if your buddy has a server, yeah, you know, and your buddy's name's John, let's call it John's server. Obviously, this isn't the actual name. It's just you know, so under address you're going to want to put in that IP address uh, that you got off of IP config or the C or or some of you would like to call it the CMD so mine um, obviously varies from all of yours but mine was 192.168.1.9 I am actually gonna have a uh, server up. Uh, this, um, uh, yeah. So I'll give you the IP address uh, if you would like to uh, join it. It's gonna be called Nitrom. I'm not, f I'm not even close to finishing it. I'm trying to find all the correct plugins and all this stuff. So you guys, you guys are gonna have to give me a little bit of time, but I'll eventually get there. Uh, port. Um, Port, if you go into the server properties, uh, it'll actually be right here. Talked about how to open this earlier, so. Uh, port, uh, you're able to make a custom one, but be careful. Um, anyways, your this is your the default port. Uh, 19132, uh, uh, I'm going to leave it like that. I don't really mind it. And it's default by here too. We're going to add server. I haven't run the server yet, so it's just trying to locate it. And obviously, it's going to say unable to connect. However, by random chance, if you, um, not by random chance, but um, say, you know, uh, you're on the same network as your, um, as your friend that, you know, is hosting the server, then you won't need to add a, a an external server. You will, um, it'll automatically pop up. So here we go. We're going to run the server. And now see it automatically pops up. Now the only reason it pops up there automatically, it's not because I added it somehow, it's because it's on the Wi-Fi. 
so it's on the same network as me um, as uh, the iPhone is so, uh, but let's forget that let's just go to John's server now you'll notice hey look it's building terrain it's generating world it actually found it yay and so in one of the configurations I actually set chat to false so let's try that so now notice if we you know try to chat sorry chat is currently uh, disabled and that plugin is called the uh, admin tools plugin uh, I think I've got 1.4 by super Chris LP um, so yeah, you can change the messages, you can change depth uh, with it, you can change whether people can break blocks or not, uh, whether um, you can disable chat, uh, it also shows welcome messages, uh, leaving messages, chat messages, uh, or you know, disable chat messages, uh, if your chat is disabled, then what is it going to say when you try to type something in, just, you know, some basic stuff like that, pretty cool though. Uh, if you're new to the server stuff, uh, it actually says when I, uh, the player name in blue whenever someone joins. So say if I were to go on here, uh, I quit to title, I'm just going to show it here. And there we go. Client uh, is was logged out due to client. Um, logged out due to client disconnect. And now so, uh, keep in mind if your iPhone is locked or something, then you can time out or if you just go to the home button so or you know to the home screen so keep that in mind anyways guys this is basically how to create a ser uh, server i really hope you guys enjoyed it any questions or comments feel free to leave down in the comment section below or private message me on xbox or um <clears throat> on xbox or youtube all right i answer any and all questions any requests for videos i will try to do as best i can See so, yeah guys, um yeah I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment right and subscribe and yeah, I uh, hope I uh hope I get a lot of comments from you so uh go post some comments down in that comment section below. So later, peace.